Alexa and my Conry journey continues. If you want to see this dining room completely transformed, please stick around and watch how we decluttered this china cabinet that was filled with toys and other crap and uh, even refinished this table, created a photo wall, a lot of good stuff, new curtains, you name it, it's all in this video. And I am so happy with how this room has been transformed from something that's abused to something that once again is a haven of peace and full of items that spark joy. So I hope you'll agree with me, stick around. Here's my dining room before. Uh, here's a result of doing Con Marie on the pictures. I have a lot more pictures, although there's even more than that. Then I had decided a few years ago to use this dining room uh, built in as a toy cabinet. However, I'm thinking about taking those toys and putting them outside in my kids' playhouse. And this is a curio cabinet. There's some issues with plugs and cables, cracks in the wall, super duper ugly curtains that I'm tired of. I put the TV in here after I did Conmarie in the living room and as a result, um, this is the room that now everybody's abusing. This is an Ikea lamp that I'm not super in love with anymore, but oh well. I painted that built-in many years ago. I painted the detail on there. And then we turn around and we catch the photo wall, um, my kid's door, which is really disgusting. It needs to be revamped or painted. So here's the dining room on a typical weekday morning. And you can see what happens with the dining room table. Um, here's the TV. I had it in the corner. I'm not sure why people moved it out of the corner, but that's okay. We're going to put the TV away because it's school now. I also need to get in that corner and clean those baseboards, clean the walls a little bit. So we've taken all of the toys out of the shelf and actually out of this one shelf right here. This is all empty. And among the things that we have discovered are a treasure trove of sunglasses. Hey guys, what do you think of these sunglasses that we found? Um, a car trash bin and it's filled with keys, so we're going to go through some of those keys. It was also filled with the sunglasses. And you know, while it was fun to look at the sunglasses, they're all scratched. Like I didn't even realize, I don't even remember buying these, but they're scratched. These are scratched, um, and I have another pair that I wear all the time. So, you know, I think time to say goodbye to most of these sunglasses. We had fun trying them on, though. That was a fun little experience. Have everything and ask yourself if it sparks joy. If it does not, put it in the bag. Too hard. Um, don't want no pieces. Doesn't work. Mm. No, that's garbage, right? Garbage. Um, too complicated. <laughs> Go fish is too complicated.
dining room after Con Marie. So here you can see the photo wall that I did. Uh, I was considering covering the entire wall with those cork tiles, and you can see another video where I did that. I hung just a few pictures up. I might want to do more and do one of those nice displays you see on Pinterest. I just painted that door and the trim, and oh my goodness, does that spark joy. The door was truly awful before. Continuing around, that other door needs to be painted as does the trim, but I won't dwell on that. Here's the dining room table. It has a lot of scratches, but I used a product on it that created a shine and promised to fill in the scratches. It didn't fill in the scratches, but it did make it nice and shiny. And I also put the leaf in the table um, to make it longer. We're always struggling with how long this table should be. And I decided longer might be better. It gives more room for doing homework. Now, in this corner that I just moved out of, there used to be a TV. Now the TV's gone. Why? Because two reasons. One is wherever the TV is becomes disgusting because people eat in front of it and drop crumbs, etc. And second of all, it's school. School has started. So anyway, this is about day four of having the TV in the closet put away until the weekend. And we'll see how it goes. I did set up a nice little end table there with a tablecloth for the TV when I had it out. But currently it's not there and it's just leaving the room nice and spacious and open. Here's the sideboard and also the curio cabinet. Now, I played with a lot of different things following the KonMari method of taking everything of a singular type that I had and putting them all together. I took all the photos that we had and put them all together and it literally filled this entire sideboard up. So what I did was a little different. I actually put a number of the photos inside the cabinet and because I did my decluttering, I was able to move, uh, well, I gave away a number of pieces of china and um, uh, wine glasses that I don't use. And so that opened up that space. And then I was able to put the china in, uh, in this section of the cabinet, as you can see. I also have some art from my kids and a few masks in the bottom level. I was able to declutter these three drawers. I'm not gonna open them for you, but they the bottom one contains some linens and I gave away a lot of linens. About half of it is filled. Actually, right now, maybe I'll see if I can open this with one hand. I'm not gonna be able to open this with one hand. I did use the KonMari method here and fold the linens vertically. Put that. But as you can see, these drawers close and open with difficulty, so they're not a place to put things that you would use frequently. On this side of the cabinet, I had it overflowing with children's toys, and we eliminated a lot of those toys. My son went through them. Now, here, these are more photographs, and this is the second child syndrome. Those are mostly photographs of our first son, and then our second son was born after uh, the invention of digital cameras, I mean our first one was digital cameras too, but um, before Facebook and, and all that. So now our second son doesn't have that many printed photos. That was one thing I tried to fix up here and I made sure there were pictures of both of my children there. Um, and I'm thinking with these uh, photographs in uh, frames, I will probably take some of the photographs out and put them into albums and I'll save that for Yet another video on the ongoing photo process, which probably turned out to be the most time-consuming process of all of KonMari. Um, this display curio cabinet also got a little bit of a makeover. I um, pulled out a lot of extra things. I shined it up. So now there's a little bit more room in there for the things that do remain, and uh, it's a little bit more spacious. And then over here you can see my new IKEA curtains and I hung them floor to ceiling, and man, did that make a difference. Floor to ceiling really did open up the room, as you will see in my still photographs. So this room, and there used to also be a paper uh, recycling can in this room, and I have now put that in the kitchen. So the idea here is for this to be a peaceful room, primarily for eating, dinner together, and doing homework on the dining room table. 
And eventually I'd like to redo the floors. Um, I didn't wax them prior to this video because I'm actively thinking about what to do. Um, and as I said, I'm thinking, should we recover this wall or cover the entire wall with the tiles? I don't know. And then look at my beautiful door. Oh, finally. And I also polished up the hardware on the door and uh, put it back on and that made, made it look really lovely. So there you have it, my peaceful, beautiful dining room. I'm really, really happy with it and the KonMari method really helped me whittle it down to the things that spark joy, the things that we need as a family. And uh, I think the room really uh, looks a lot better because of that. So that's it. This is my room transformation. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe and comment. Tell me how you're doing and how you've transformed the dining room uh, and what you've done with your clutter. I really am happy with the result of this and I hope you like it too. Okay, bye-bye. Sunglasses, right now. Put on the sunglasses. Here. See how those look. Put them on. Oh, Put them on. No, look. <laughs> Stop it. Let me see. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Don't look at me. Look at me. How, how come you don't look at me?